So let's talk DNF, Dora's Package Manager. To handle their package manager, we're going to be opening up the Cosmic Terminal. And if you press Control Shift Plus, oh, please tell me they integrated the key for this. What? Control Plus. Are you serious? They don't even know how to properly set keybinds. All right, here's something you need to know about certain desktop environments. GNOME and KDE, along with every other desktop environment, will always follow the simple rules that have, that the one before it laid down. Okay, so normally, Control Shift Plus zooms in and Control uh, Minus zooms out, but with Cosmic, it's Control Plus to zoom in and Control Minus to zoom out. It's archaic and backwards. Uh, again. This is some criticism, and I'm allowed to criticize certain things because this is just not the way it's supposed to be. But I guess I have to get used to it. So, the sudo command is you requesting administrator privileges. When you type DNF, you are telling the distro that you want to summon the package manager. And when you type search, well, you know what that does. And if we type OpenCL as a random example, this is what happens. Now you don't need to enter sudo to be able to search. It'll just do it anyway, okay? And you'll be given a list of packages that all have to do with OpenCL, including for some reason, the bottom one. Great. Now, um, if we scroll up, you'll be able to see that there's not that many results. Cool, huh? And I'm not sure, I doubt there's a Discord client for this, so I can't use that as an example. Uh, flat packs are installed, so I can teach those if I wanted to, but I will grab a package from the internet. The interwebs, we will grab Equabop. Equabop is a third party Discord client that uh, is actually pretty cool. Mac is now signed. How oh, cool. Does this have a dopey cosmic, uh, dopey name? It does not. So Fedora uses what is called a dot RPM. So if you copy this link and you do sudo administrator privileges, DNF, summoning the package manager, IN, which is stored for short for install. Okay. And then you paste into the terminal and you hit enter. The package manager is going to download that .rpm and it's going to grab the dependencies and it's going to install those dependencies along with the package itself. And it's also going to show you everything it's doing so you're very aware of what you're doing. So uh, let's go over this screen here real quick. So it's updating and loading repositories. The repositories are loaded. It's downloading this package. Then it's notifying you of the package, the, you know, architecture, which is x86 underscore 64, the version number, which is 3.1.6-1, and what you're installing it from, basically command line. Then it's showing you it's installing Equibop, and it's installing the dependencies, so libx screensaver. It's showing you its architecture which repo it came from, which version, so Fedora 43. And it's going to show you two packages. The total size of inbound is 154. Uh, need to download 25 kilobytes after this operation, 623 megabytes uh, extra will be used, install, so on and so forth. And then it just goes over everything. So now if we go in here and we search, you'll notice that we have Equibop and you can right click and you can pin it to app tray and it will add it right here. Now the main issue is after some packages are installed, you'll need to run them once or you'll need to log out and log back in to actually have the ability to see the icon. So that's unfortunate. All right. Now we've installed the package. We've searched a package. We're going to do a little more than just that, though, in just one second. All right, let's move on to the next set of commands. So we're going to do DNF list. 
DNF list is going to basically list off everything that is currently installed. Just like this. It could be a bit overwhelming, so if you need to, you could always do this. That will place it in a list that is in a text file so it's easier to search. Okay, and that text file will be relocated in what's called your home folder. And if we open this up, it should have opened with double click because, but again, uh, it's fairly new and archaic. Can we just like, and then can we just like, okay, apparently uh, Cosmic is a lot more archaic than I thought it would be. Oh, it's a 12 megabyte file, that's why. Yeah, okay, we're just going to uh, Alt-Q out of all of this. Uh-oh, I froze the virtual machine. And that's the best part about using a virtual machine is you're able to force a restart without breaking the system. So it helps, uh, you know, get things done a little bit quicker. Let's log in and Oops, stuff happened. Yes, they did. So maybe a best bet of not doing that. So we're going to move that to trash just to get rid of it. And instead, we're going to open up the terminal once again. We're going to zoom in wrong. Okay. And uh, we're going to do DNF info. Equibop. Boop. And as you can see, that popped up all the information you need to know about the application we installed, Equibop, which is the third-party Discord client. Uh, it says each Poch Zero version is 3.1.6, release is 1, architecture is x86 64. It shows the install size, what the source file would be, uh, that it was done via command line. It shows a summary, your ULR, the license, the description, everything. And yes, this can be very, very, very simple and easy to do. Uh, now, here's the thing. DNF list installed. So that will show you every single package that is installed. As long as I, I enter that correctly. List all installed packages. I did. Unless I spelled list wrong. Which I did not. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Now I'm going to teach you how to update. This one's important, so we're going to type clear. We're going to type sudo dnf update dash dash refresh. Now I like to always do refresh because it will always grab the newest updates. It will also update any of the repositories that we have to grab the newest information. This is uh, meant mostly just for Fedora not Nabora. We're not teaching Nabora. It has its own uh, UI for updates and everything. But doing this, entering your password, it will refresh the repositories. And there you go. There's nothing to do. All right. Now, I don't want to deal with anything else. So what we're going to do is sudo DNF clean packages okay what this does is it will clean cached packages so um it removes some stuff but it doesn't exactly show what it removes and we can also type all that will delete 19 files 14 directories total 87 megabytes and there's also another one called auto remove It'll automatically remove any packages that aren't being used or any dependencies that are also not being used. Okay. Another thing we can do is we can find out exactly. I think I could do it this way. What a package like needs. So let's CD to downloads. If you don't know what CD it means, it means changing directory. And we're going to do dnf provides and then we're gonna i never ended up downloading equibop did we no we did not so i can't do it there uh we'll have to find another package to download no we won't one second let's do this like that bam 
So, like this. And we'll get to see what this provides. Hopefully it works. Sometimes these package, uh, these package manager lists and commands, they don't work. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's try uh, OpenCL. ICD. Um, yeah, file system. So there we go. Uh, repo Fedora batch from provide. So I guess that's pretty clear. Let's do it one more time just so you can see what it did. Perfect. So that just provides you the information you need about a specific file. Uh, it also works like this. So if we do slash user slash bin slash Python. And that will tell you everything you need to know about your version of Python. Okay. Next, we're going to do another command. All of this is very important, by the way, which is called DNF repo list it's going to show you all the repositories you currently have enabled okay or all the repositories that are in the system now there's another thing that is called group list but i don't think we need to really go over that very much and there's also dnf history so you could do history undo there's nothing there though but uh, yeah, we're going to go over one more thing and I'm going to kind of use this as an example. Um, Cache OS. Fedora Corp. Now this will come up later, but I'm kind of wanting to use this as a good example, okay? So this is a repository for Fedora. And these are like add-ons to the system. These allow you to grab separate kernels that have performance optimizations and other nifty cool things. So if we scroll down, you'll see that this is what it takes to install it. And all you got to do is copy these two commands. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to minimize this. We're going to paste this in here. So it's going to basically uh, check what's in that repo. It's going to enable the repo download everything it needs and we're going to agree to it and then what we're going to do is we're going to install a package from this repo so let's go over this again it's currently installing the kernel cache os and the kernel cache os devil matched okay this will also in turn install uh cache os core cache os devil or uh, dev package and the modules, the headers, uh, libcrit devil. Like, there's a whole bunch of things that will come down with this because these are dependencies that are needed to make this one thing work. We're going to hit yes, and it's going to install these things. So, we have this repo enabled now. Okay. And this was just a prime example, a very easy example of how to enable a repo after you guys were given a short lesson on DNF. Now, you guys have a choice of which desktop environment you want to use. Again, this is just an example desktop environment. I had uh, one angry commenter basically acting like uh, because I chose GNOME, it was the end of the world. and It was kind of sad. There you go. Um, so now if we do... Okay, so we do DNF repo list now. You'll notice that we have the cache OS uh, kernel repo right there. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, if you're just learning Fedora. And I will see you guys in part three. Bye, everybody.